All right, so, ah, ah, come on. So what we're going to do is this. You're going to hit the, first of all, with me now. We're starting with it. This is the start of our five-minute first lesson. It's a little clumsy, a little bit, but we're going to smooth it out. As the lessons go, it'll be smoother and faster, and you'll get more done. At the very beginning, you have to, first of all, kind of fudge, fudge around and, and fidget about looking for these chords. I know that. So let's try this. I'll give you a moment to get the E chord with your fingers. So form the E chord with your fingers. First finger on the, remember where it is? Third, fifth, fourth. Third, fifth, fourth. You got it? Let me hear your E chord, please. Let me hear yours. Let me hear yours. Okay. Good. Now let me hear an A chord, please. Good, that's two of you. Huh? That's wrong. It's 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 the uh, belt of Orion. You know what I'm talking about? Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. It's the fourth string, third string, second string. You were on the uh, fifth, fourth, and third. Yeah, you don't want to be doing A. All right, so I'm glad we're working all this out, but let's get this together now. So you need to know where your E chord Now watch, look, you have to look and see. That's okay. If you don't have to look, it's better. But if you do have to look, by all means, look. Don't, just don't do it. Look and go slower if you have to. All right, so let's make the E chord, please. E. Three times. Let me hear you all at once. Ready? E, well, I'll do the E chord first. Listen to it. Now give me three of those. One, two, three. Go ahead. All together. Time it so you're together. Now A chord. I'll make it first. Now give me three A chords. Now go to E. That's right, give me three. Now A. Now E. Now A. once. A. Come on with me. Ready? A. Then I'm going to go to E. Ready? Get to E. Right away, because you know what's coming next. Now E. Now put your fingers on the A. A. With me, please. E. Now with me, please. With me, please. Ready? One, two, three, E. Ready? One, two, three, stroke. E. That's right. Now strum A. Now strum E. Now strum A. Now strum E. Now strum A. Now E. Now A. Now E. Now A. Now E. A. And E. And A. And A and E. 
with me and a and e 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 good very good only one uh note there that i have which is that uh uh sometimes you were playing the wrong um you were playing opposite the exact opposite so you need to remember which is the e and which is the a because it looks like you were calling the a e and e a there fairly consistently opposite what i was doing so that's kind of you know not everybody was doing that but some folks were so i thought that was interesting um and of note, and of note. So uh, that is, um, you need to identify what's the E, what's the A, and be able to go back and forth easily between those two. Your goal is So your goal is actually to to uh, be able to change from one chord to another chord without having to think your way through it, plan your way through it, organize your fingers into some sort of uh, responsive system. That's not the time to be figuring out how to make the chord. When you're playing at a concert, it's not the time to be learning guitar. So you need to spend the time behind the scenes learning the chords. Not all the chords. I didn't ask you to learn 3,644 chords, which is about the number that I might ask you to learn if I was a professional guitar teacher, but I'm not. I've asked you to learn two chords, for God's sakes. Two chords, E and A. I didn't even ask you to learn if we'd learn the third chord, which you do need at some point, which is the B seventh. But you don't need that right now, so I don't want you to learn it right this second. You don't have to. But you do have to learn the E chord and the A chord. And the way to learn those is to go to my website, gorebag.com, G-O-R-E-B-A-G-G.com. Go there. It's free. Nobody's going to hassle you. Nobody wants your damn number. Nobody wants your name. Nobody cares. It's a totally free site. There's nothing to, nothing to worry about. Go there. Um, 
in the music section and instruments, music section, classes, courses, whatever, however it's put in there. I can't remember what it is. I think it's under, it might be under instrument classes. I'm not sure. But then you'll find, it's obvious, and you'll find guitar. What is it under? How does it list? Do you know? Music? It's under music. You, you, you gave it. You yeah. gave it earlier. Music, right. classes, guitar. Yeah, yeah. So you go to classes, you're going to go to, and you go, go to guitar, and then in guitar you'll find photographs, you'll find videos, and you'll find verbal explanations, written explanations, text explanations, all kinds of stuff, and of course charts and diagrams on how to do this. And if you'll notice, the fingers are all numbered. So your thumb, you know, you have a thumb T, and then you have one, two, three, four fingers. You have thumb and four fingers. In case you didn't know that, you don't have five fingers on each hand. You don't have ten fingers. You actually have eight fingers and two thumbs, yes. But a, a Unless you're a, a marsupial which, of another type. Yes. But accomplishing this lesson that you just gave us, yes. 